Okay, try number nine on page four. <laughs> I'm not a good reader. I'll tell you what, though. It sure was a good time. Stopping and setting up camp anywhere we wanted to make a fire and get high. You meet lots of different people out on the road, so we were standing along the highway trying to hitchhike a ride for hours when this big red rig comes barreling towards us, blowing his horn. But he was going the other direction. We were like, well, what was that all about as he goes screaming by? About five minutes later, he's coming back in our direction and pulls over and rolls down the window and says, hey, you guys hippies? You got any acid? <laughs> Fucking California. So we climb in and he says he wants like 10 hits. I told him that it's liquid acid and I don't have any way to give it to him. He says, no, man, I want 10 hits all at once. I'm like, oh, fuck, okay. So I just squirted it in his mouth and gave me a few bucks. It took about 15 minutes before this guy's eyes were literally swirling around in circles as he was flying down the highway in a big rig, going 100 miles an hour. Well, Haas and me were already stoned, so it's was a real fucking trip. I think we made it about another 20 minutes before he pulled over and said, that's it, boys, that's all I can do. Then he crawled into the back of the sleeper and it literally looked like he tried to eat his brain from the inside of his head. I mean, he was going, ah, blah, blah, blah. weird. Um, uh, inside, I'm not sure what he was muttering as we were getting out and climbing out the door. We walked about five miles across this little town to cut over Highway 97. So we're walking along, and I swear we were in the deep woods looking for a camp spot. We were high as shit. I'm up to like 30 hits of acid over the last couple days. We find this spot that has lush green grass. The trees almost looked like they had been trimmed nicely and tight. It was the perfect spot. So we set up tent and made our fire and kind of just passed out. I woke up about two hours later to the sound of a hurricane and a torrential rain. I was like, holy shit, what's happening? So I jumped up and ripped the tent door open. Well, I guess we were so high that what we thought was where we were camping in the lush, wonderful lands of the forest, when in fact we had set up in the middle of the grass divider between the lanes in Interstate 5. It was a bunch of big rigs and going by, and the freaking sprinklers were going off, spraying the sides of the tent, and then the cops showed up, but they just told us to pack and move along. I don't know how we went around in a circle to high five, but we did. So out goes the thumbs, and we cruise through Oregon in the back of a VW Bug. Oregon's pretty cool, a little wet and dreary, but it's almost mystical. So we drop more acid. <laughs> About halfway through Washington, we get dropped off, and it's hot. Holy, it's hot. This is mid-July, so there was this creek along the side of the road that locals were swimming in. So we went over and enjoyed a few hours of fun in the sun. Smoked at least the last of the weed in my pot pipe that I had in the bottom of my backpack. We had panhandled a few bucks, so we got some beers and took more acid. We had to finish it before the border, which was about an hour away. So fuck it. We took it all. By the time we got back out on the road, I was cooking pretty good and stoned on weed and about four beers. Not much, but together, it was good. <laughs> so, we got into the, so we got to the Canadian border, and I can't even talk English by this point. I was doing light speed and trying my best to hold on to an open bottle of ketchup. I was high, dude. Uh, I just went over and sat down against the, the building and kind of zoomed in and out of consciousness. I had no idea where I even was when this border guy comes around the corner and sees us sitting there. He can see that we are fucked up, but he told, uh, but I told him that I was just some pot or that it was some pot had smoked and that, and that's all. 
He hand, I handed him the bottle, sorry, I handed him the pot pipe I had empty, and he believed us. So he carts us into the building, border building, and writes me up a, a disgracing the queen paper. I don't know what the heck it was. Um, where the hell am I? Disgracing the queen or some shit. Then he just opens the door and says, welcome to Canada. Well, holy shit. Okay, so we just went over to the Canadian side and sat on our asses up against the wall. At some point, I must have given a number to the cops because a couple hours later, my aunt was shaking my arm saying, wake up. By this point, I was able to hold it together a, long, a little longer. But... She was definitely wondering why we were laughing so much at stupid shit. Anyways, we'll do page five tomorrow. I can't read worth crap.